Everybody. This is Adrian Michelle, aka Addy. I just finished rocking along with the amazing Voice Avenue here at the pageant tonight. We also got to kick it backstage and got a special interview with Alejandro of Voice Avenue. Let's take a look. Hey everyone, this is Addy Lai. I'm here today backstage at the pageant with a wonderful, wonderful young man and singer, Alejandro Manzano. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Thanks for having me. No, no problem. Thank you for uh, letting us interview you today. So. You guys formed back in 2004, is that my understanding, in 2004? Ish. 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 Yeah. <laughs> What's with the ish? Yeah. Well, we're, we're technically brothers. Uh, all three of us are brothers, so we've, it's, it's tough to pick like a definitive starting point because we've been just like playing music for fun for, for many, many years, ever since we can remember. Um, 2004 was like the first time we had, um, I think we put on like a local show for friends and family. So that was kind of like a cool, cool thing. I think it was around 2007 that we started our YouTube channel and that's when it really materialized and we were kind of like wow like this is this has become a legit thing that that, that we can pursue as, as a career. Uh, your first single it has to happen to be my favorite um, and all your new stuff coming out but before you were uh, signed under Universal and then now you're Three Piece Records I want to care to share about that especially sure, with how yeah, different yeah. Three Piece is. Yeah, we've always uh, we've always had like a certain DIY do-it-yourself kind of mentality, um, even while on the label. Um, but that was a huge part of who we are because all three of us have kind of different strengths that that we cater to. Like Nania graduated from Harvard Law, so he's always helped us out with like a lot of the legal stuff and, and the business side. Um, I'm very deep into the music's world, music side of things, and Fabian has a very artistic mind, so he's he's done a lot of our uh, our artwork whether it was like album covers, uh, merch design, t-shirt design. In the early days, he actually filmed us. He did a lot of the website stuff. So it was kind of like this three-headed monster thing that we joke about. Um, and that's hence the name Three Piece Records. We kind of started our own label. And then around 2009, 2010-ish, we signed to Universal. And we were only with them for about nine months. It just wasn't like the best uh, marriage, so to speak. It just wasn't you guys. I mean, clearly you guys are like a DIY. You guys do it yourself. I mean, you guys are a triple threat. Legitimately, you guys have every aspect covered, and it's just, no, no, it's, it's, I commend you for your work. How do you three get along? Because you have such different minds, different uh, ideas. How do you guys compromise as brothers? I think, um, well, we used to share a room even, like, as little kids, so we've kind of always been good about sharing and respecting others. Um, I think at the end of the day, as different as we are, uh, A, there's a, there's a common thread amongst us, and B, we respect each other's uh, respective talents at such a high level that it's like if there's ever a disagreement, we'll, we'll tend to kind of, um, especially if it falls into that field that the other one is their strength, we'll, we'll just trust them on it. So I think that's kind of helped that we all actually have our own thing. It would almost be more awkward if we were fighting over like the same thing, you know? Um, so it's kind of like we all have our role in the band and we trust the other. New album mm -hmm. coming out. Care to uh, sh uh, share that yeah, with yeah. us? Um, this tour is, is a cool thing because we're, we're playing a lot of new material that we just released this EP a few months back. Um, and that's going over really well. But it was it's cool to kind of release that EP and it was only like five new original songs. It was like this little tester thing and then to get to so quickly play it on the road and to see how people react to it. Um, we're learning a lot about our, our sound and even who we are as musicians to be able to take that now and to, to start to finish up uh, a second full-length album is something we're really excited to do. How was your stay here so far at uh, St. Louis? Good. We love it here. We had an amazing day off yesterday. Um, and yeah, we watched uh, Fury, that new Brad Pitt movie in Shia LaBeouf. I want to see that movie so badly. It was really good. It was cool because it was like it was like all four of us watching it, um, and a lot of the backbone of the movie is is the the underlying theme of just this brotherhood of these guys in this tank. And uh, although it's a very strained analogy, um, our lives are not at risk. But but we 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 understood that kind of camaraderie and brotherhood and having each other's back. So it was it was a good movie. That's good. That's good. And. Uh, Excited to be performing tonight here at the pageant? We are very excited. I think the last time uh, we played here was like two and a half years ago. And it's, it's, it's an amazing room, uh, amazing staff. So yeah, we're pumped. Thank you for speaking with me today. Thank you, it's awesome to have you here. I'm pretty excited. And that is what you guys missed.